All right. Well, this is a video of the OEC 9900 Elite Series, a C-arm that is made by General Electric. My name is Kelvin, and I'll be giving you a little tour about this um, C-arm here. All right. Well, here we go. This is the 9900 Elite. This particular one is a vascular MTS model, which stands for Motion T Motion Tolerant Subtraction. All right. And we have a little CD burner right there, so we can upload and actually burn our exams off the CD. This is our typical OEC here. And we got your um, contrast and brightness controls here. These can only be enabled once you hit the once you turn off automatic mode. If you leave the automatic mode and start adjusting these, these do create a little bit of um, a slight change here, but they can only move in very small increments. Over here you have um, image enhancement. It is a sharpening filter, so you can actually raise it up as high as you want. As low as you want. Alright. And this here is the noise filter. This one can actually re reduce noise during fluoroscopy. It does not actually remove noise during a still image, well, or a last image hold. This is a zoom button. It's pretty self-explanatory. And the gate means to invert the image. So from your usual black, black and white to white and black. This here saves all the images that on the left screen here. This is to swap. So you can flip the image from, let's say, the left screen to the right screen, or from the right screen to the left. Basically, um, the reason why we do this is because sometimes doctors want to hold the last image we shot on the left side while we floral with the left. This way we have like a comparison or like some sort of base picture to compare to. All right, well, I'm going to show you this. This is patient information. Once you press this, you get a screen here. You could either start a new exam. Um, scheduled exams, if you comp if your C arms hooked up to a um, to the PAC system inside your hospital. This will allow you to pull up exams that are pre-scheduled on this work list here, and you can update schedule to do that, or by you can sort by physician or by the patient name. Um, we actually don't have the setting here, so let's hit OK and cancel that. Um, you can hit resume exam. This will pull up a list of. Um, exams that were stored here in this computer, whether they were done or not. So you could resume, continue an exam by pulling up the patient's name. I'm not going to press this because for HIPAA reasons I cannot show you the names of the people we've done in this hospital or in particular with, with this machine. But let's, um, let's, use, let's put in a new patient, okay? We'll just use my name. All right. Now the world knows who, uh, <laughs> who I am. Let's go uh, next one. First name. Oh, whoops, typo. And we'll just skip everything. We'll just use Choose Pro, Change Profile. This is particularly new with the 9900. You can either choose a general profile, which is for general fluoroscopy, 9800 mode, which emulates the, um, the quality of the OEC 9800, orthopedic, which is for just general, also, it's also basically good for general fluoroscopy, but it would it would apply filters to sharpen bones. Spine, which is geared towards um, spinal, you know, um, fluoroscopy. This one also has its own special filters to do um, spinal work. It greatly improves image quality and sharpness and definition of the bones. Vascular, same thing, has its own particular you know profile for um, vascular modes, and bolus chase. I believe this act, this is also for um, improving image quality when we um, inject IV contrast. Basically try and do a little bolus of IV and try and chase it down, let's say, we're trying to do an angio of the legs, for instance. All right, we don't have the cardiac here, unfortunately, we just <laughs> didn't buy it. We don't do much cardiac cases here. All right, so let's hit the OK button. All right, oh, actually, let's change it. Let's, um, let's use general mode, how about that? Hit OK. And listen, if you ever need to edit the information, you can press edit. It allows you to add things on as necessary. 
Let's hit exit. All right. Now we're ready to shoot something. So let me just take a grab look at, look at our C arm here. I'm going to put this right on the, the tube end, my little pen there. I'm going to step back. I have my lead on, and let's floral. All right. Well, that's my pen. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is um, not the orientation that I want. So in order to change that, you come right up to this control panel here, okay, on the C-arm itself. This allows you to rotate the image either counterclockwise or clockwise. And let's do it so that it faces up. And I'll show you what it looks like on the screen, okay? The triangle there means basically towards the head. So let's aim it so that we are pointing towards the head of the pen. Okay, and it fixes the orientation. Sorry for my jittery hands there. Now over here you have, you could reverse the image or flip the image. Let's see what that does. See? And let's flip it. Okay. Over here you have magnification. Mag 1. If I floral again, it will enlarge the image. Basically magnifying in. And, of course, MAG2 is self-explanatory. Even more magnification, as you can see. Okay. This is to save the image. If I hit save, it assigns a number on the very bottom corner there. All right, and if I hit left to right on this little button here, workstation, it will produce a copy on the other side. So let's just say if I continue to floral, well, on the right side, it's going to hold the image. This one is called Mode. This one has a special application because this is an um, interventional C-arm, or it's equipped with an interventional package. If I press this, looking at the bottom here, what this will do, it puts in subtraction mode. If I press the high-level floral button on the foot pedal, which is currently not put in, or on my hand remote, which I'll show you later, this will put into digital subtraction mode. Okay. You have collimation. So you have iris collimation. So watch the screen. You can see a little circle that's going to close in. All right. So this will collimate out the, um, basically the, well, area of interest here. See? And let's release it. All right. Good. And let's press um, floral again. All right. And you can do leaf collimation. This is to open it wide, and this is to close in. So you can close it in. And, well, that's not quite the way we want it. So you can press this button right here, or the other one here, counterclockwise or clockwise, to orient the shutters for the collimation. And let's fire that. Let's take a look. See? OK. Moving along here, you have your contrast control here. If you you can press this right now, it'll make minute adjustments on the side, very slight. This only alters the um, what the computer thinks in automatic mode. That's why it's blinking right now, because I've manually attempted to shift it to change it. Pressing auto again, turning it off. Now you have a control that will either raise the contrast or raise the brightness. Well, it does it in a logical step, so, you know, you, we, don't, we don't get too much brightness, too much contrast at the same time. Okay, let's turn it back on. Now, you can also dial in your own KV and mass, or MA specifically. By doing that, you can turn off the automatic mode, you can dial in your own KV, you know, assuming, you, you know, you want to make a constant technique. By turning it off while, you know, after you used, you, you've used it in automatic mode, this will lock the technique. This is particularly important when you're trying to image C7T1, which, um, you know, from a small neck to a great big broad shoulder, technique will vary greatly. And of course, it'll make it very difficult to see C7T1. Let's turn it back on. Now, if you, of course, if you pass the five minute mark on the floral time, which indicates in seconds, and then it'll become, you know, one minute, and so on and so on. You can press this to reset it. It'll light up and beep. This is low dose mode. What this will do is raise the KV and drop the MA mode. I mean, drop the MA 